Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with another perfume haul. Um, I know I said I'm not gonna have any perfume hauls in 2023, but these are all fragrances that I purchased or I received in December, but they got delayed or I generally just didn't have time to record the video for them. So here we have a new perfume haul. We're gonna have in here 10 fragrances. Listen, they're all very, very different. We have fragrances for the winter time. I do have one that I feel like is gonna perform amazing in the summer. Uh, we have some gourmands, we have some darker, sexier fragrances, some men's perfumes as well. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, don't forget, obviously, to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, so you are gonna be notified all the time when I upload a new video. And yeah, now let's jump in to the video. All right, I'm gonna start this video with a brand new collection from Navitus. We're gonna have five fragrances, this time, uh, we have 125 ml, the presentation is different, the whole concept uh, behind these fragrances is different, so no YouTuber was involved, this is their own collection. This is the box, standard Navitus presentation so far. You have the sleeve, then you're getting this box, and inside, listen, with this collection, actually I knew that it was released, I wasn't really that intrigued just because they're more Middle Eastern perfumes and that's not necessarily my type of fragrance. They didn't even tell me they're gonna send it to me. I just received the parcel. I was like, ah, thank you. And then when I tested them, I realized that I really like like for myself two of them and the other three are just working amazing on my boyfriend. So I'm gonna let you know everything, yeah? This is, like I said, the presentation. So you're getting another box with a nice little like, cloth so you can clean this bad boy. Look at this. The concept be uh, be behind this was you can use it after you purchase the fragrance. So the box is not just a perfume box. You obviously you open it. You can see, oh, it has the card like always. And here sits the fragrance. And this is my favorite okay this is my favorite side so i'm just gonna start with my favorite fragrance but like i said you can actually reuse this box you literally just lift this bed and you can reuse it for like jewelry or whatever you want you can actually put your samples i was thinking because you can see probably in here i have um some boxes from van cliff but they're just like your standard cardboard boxes i can use this for my samples like look how good this box looks it's absolutely amazing anyway we're talking about the fragrances yeah five new fragrances and you can actually test them because they came out with a discovery kit where you have 15 fragrances um, obviously you have the five new perfumes the five um, from this collection and then you have chocolate queen you have venom of love you have Ray Spirits, you have all of the new releases. In here, there's three ml each, and then you're getting five, um, 15 of them. So you can see I have my Chocolate Queen here. What else we have? Um, this new collection. Then you have Eau de Bonheur, Sartorio Nui, Divine Aphrodisiac, Exo Brandy, Creme Imperial, Viva More, and The Key. Right now, if you purchase this discovery kit you are actually gonna get for free another discovery kit and that is for their sister brand viva more so you're getting 15 fragrances in this one and then 11 the whole collection from viva more as well so you said that you want to try um my chocolate queen before you buy it now we have the discovery kit that actually includes chocolate queen and all of their new fragrances Chocolate Queen is going to be available, it's going to be back in stock pretty soon. I don't really have a date yet, but it's going to be available pretty soon. You can actually go on the Navitus website, um, go on Chocolate Queen, and then you can leave your email there and you're going to be notified when it's back in stock. Again, I don't have an official date. I would say in a couple of weeks, so don't think a few days. It's in a couple of weeks, okay? Uh, we weren't expecting to sell it that fast, so that's why we are like, completely, completely out of stock. Uh, but the, the team is working very, very hard to bring it back. Now, let's talk about 
all of these new babies. The first one, and obviously my favorite one, we have uh, Nuyi Royal. Like I said, when I saw the notes, I was like, ah, they're gonna be too much for me. Like most of them have oud, most of them have like leather and saffron and just, I was like, this is gonna be, that's gonna be too much for me. But this is actually my absolute favorite. I, re I really like all of them. This and the next one, like I said, are for myself. The other ones are for my boyfriend because they're a bit too masculine for me. Anyway, uh, Nuit Royale, like always, comes with a card. 125ml, extra du parfum, like all of the other um, Navitus fragrances. And you have notes. We have top notes, we have some saffron, we have some incense, we have geranium. Hard notes, you have rose, raspberry, and amberwood. And then base notes, you have oud, birch tart, and benzoin. When I saw the notes, I was like, that's why I didn't even ask them to try to try this line because I was like, this is gonna be too dark for me. But this fragrance, when it opens up, it smells like rose and oud and then geranium. I notice I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of geranium, but then it's like rose, like red rose, sweet red rose with geranium and you can definitely smell that note and then you're getting the oud the oud is not too strong it is there it's definitely there but it's not an animalic oud it's nothing like barnyard and nothing like that it's very a very soft oud and it's a oud that even though it's more like a middle eastern collection you will not feel like it's that type of wood because people in middle east like they can handle their wood i cannot i cannot okay like i cannot deal with that wood it's just too much for me this is a very westernized type of wood i would say five minutes maybe less than that you start to get that raspberry i'm not really sure if it's just raspberry of other fruits but i'm definitely getting this like pink juicy fruity scent in all of that darkness and it's absolutely beautiful. This is definitely fall and winter. You still need to like some wood in your fragrance. You don't need to love it. You don't need to like every single type of wood. Uh, but if you don't mind some, mind some wood in your fragrance, you're gonna absolutely love it. This one and the next two are beasts. Like you probably know fragrances that have darker notes are gonna perform like very, very well. This is absolutely best. This is not so sweet it's definitely don't think rose and oud don't think oud bouquet from lancome or don't think that type of dna because it's not it's definitely not as sweet but getting this like fruitiness in the middle and then you're getting that red green geranium this is how i describe geranium like a floral note that smells very red and a bit green at the same time and the rose is definitely a red rose, in my opinion. I do really like this one. It smells, I don't know, sexy, but very opulent in the same time. You need to like rose. You definitely need to like rose. You definitely need to like um, oud to enjoy this fragrance. But that raspberry, that fruitiness that you're going you're gonna to smell it after like five minutes, just... It's just amazing it's just amazing it makes this fragrance that fruitiness makes this fragrance not your typical middle eastern rose wood fragrance it's beautiful obviously if you're getting the discovery kit you're gonna be able to test you're gonna be able to test venom of love chocolate queen all of the good things the next one it looks absolute looks lux i think it's lux actually I'm very bad at pronouncing things. You already know that. Listen. The name says everything. This is very, very luxurious. Like, I'm not really sure which one I prefer. This one or New Year Royale. I really like the middle and the dry down of New Year Royale. But the opening of this, let me tell you the notes. Uh, we have some ginger and saffron in the top. Middle we have Turkish rose and oris, and then dry down we have oud, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, leather, and oak moss. You are definitely getting this rose with saffron. The rose is strong, but it's not that red rose that it's in New Year Royale. 
that is my mature by any means it smells just very luxurious and then you're definitely getting a bit of wood and then you're getting the leather i'm telling you i'm really in like a leather mood right now it's it's so beautiful and you can definitely smell that is it iris or always it's always that always because it has something powdery just like slightly powdery and very like comforting in the same time absolutely best absolutely like so well blended honestly so well blended usually with this type of fragrances the wood is too scratchy the rose is too much this is just so well balanced i really 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 like this too funny story we were talking i was talking with the team about chocolate queen and uh, i told them about this ones and that these two are my absolute favorites and they're like really we didn't expect that like we really didn't expect that because that's not your typical scent they would go for but yeah i really really like this one so the next three like i said i really like this this one as well it just feels a bit too masculine oh by the way these two i would say that unisex new Year royale maybe leaning a bit more feminine and then looks absolute masculine slightly just slightly feminine but it's unisex no it's unisex this one uh desire infini it's unisex leaning a bit masculine and it's another leather scent i'm, I'm really into leather leather recently this one like on me i would love it on myself but it's just too masculine for me but on my boyfriend mm, it's good another dark scent we have notes lemon and red fruits in the opening hard notes we have geranium and saffron and then base notes we have wood leather smoked wood and then amber you can smell that geranium you can smell that floral quality but then yes it has this twist where you can smell it's like you can smell two fragrances at the same time like the top is definitely like lemony zesty fruity but then the base is like dark smooth leather a bit woody as well you can smell these two in the same time it's not like that clashing or anything it's it's such a good sexy leather scent for men i really really like it i wish i could i could wear it i'm not keeping it for myself i'm gonna give it to him because i know i'm not gonna wear it i'm just gonna like smell it at home and then i'm gonna be like it's a bit too masculine for me maybe i'm just gonna steal it sometimes you know but yeah like i really like it a bit too masculine for me but i really like it if you're looking as a guy especially if you're looking for a leather scent that's not just leather check this one out because it's very beautiful next two are, are not like what i expected because like i said i thought that everything is just gonna be like very 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 dark and the next two are actually quite fresh we have paradise um exotic this i'm definitely gonna steal if you like from navitus if you like viva Amor. I feel like you're abs absolutely gonna adore this thing. Viva Amor, it's a fragrance that my boyfriend has and he's obsessed with that one. Like, it's probably his favorite fragrance in his entire collection. And he has a collection. I would say he has a collection because he has over like 20, maybe over 30 fragrances. I would say that's a collection as well. That is his favorite. And this one has the same freshness, but also like a bit of like a fruitiness going on. Viva Amor is like the pineapple is delicious like for a freshy for a men's perfume it's absolutely delicious I love it I would worry myself but again just it's a bit too masculine but absolutely love it this one um has notes has bergamot mandarin grapefruit and ginger middle you have turkish rose orchid jasmine and ylang ylang and then dry down you have madagascar vanilla tonka bean sandalwood and cedarwood that i think is the grapefruit you know that is not usually grapefruit can be a bit like bitter of no this is like a sweet ginger with grapefruit and then you're getting all of this freshness and it has this like clean quality in the same time Th this is this is gonna be beautiful in the summer time because it has something else you know it's not just a lemon scent it's not just your typical men's cologne it's not that it has this like fruitiness a bit like soapy 
I, I, can, I can wear this one as well. Like, it's not too masculine. It's perfectly unisex. The next one, I feel like the most masculine one is probably the previous one that I showed with you. Like, the, I think this one smells good on me, but it smells amazing on him. So that's why I feel like it's more like a masculine scent. Because, I don't know, maybe just his skin or, I don't know, but it smells better. It definitely smells better on him. I do really like it. I do really like it. So it's a freshie. You know that with me and freshies, I don't want to have too many freshies because I live in Manchester. So the only time when I can wear my freshies is when I go on holiday. So for myself, I would probably not choose this one. But my boyfriend would definitely choose this one because he's wearing literally just Viva more during the summertime. So he needs to change that a little bit, you know. Uh, Paradise um, Exotique was our fourth fragrance and now the last one uh aura ultime this fragrance listen i don't smell exactly what the notes are saying for me it's better this on a guy's skin smells amazing okay it's another freshie but i've never smelled anything like this i feel like this is going to be a compliment getter because it has, yes, this lemon. Let me tell you the notes. Let me tell you the notes. It has lime, cypress, and kopahu. I have no idea what that is. Hard notes, you have Turkish coffee, nutmeg, and sandalwood. And then base notes, you have gayak wood, amber wood, cashmere mask, and oak moss. You're definitely getting the lemon. Like, definitely you're getting the lemon. But I'm getting this, like, warm... I know it says it's coffee, but I'm getting in like maybe like a warm tea. Something like maybe like a cardamom tea or something like that. And then with like lots and lots of lemon. It's not lemon, it's actually lime. It's lime, it's definitely lime. I actually prefer lime over lemon. It is like very warm scent, and then you're getting a cold lime just coming through. It's such a unique and it smells again amazing on the skin, especially on a guy like this is gonna be 100% a compliment getter in the summertime because it's so different, but so pleasant and just, even though it's citrusy, it has a sexiness. Usually I'm not like crazy about like citrusy perfumes. Like I'm like, what? You smell fresh, you smell clean, that's it. But this one has something sexy about it as well, so i like it not for myself definitely for him uh but yeah i like it so this is the last fragrance from their new collection this one is aura ultime and um uh, yeah like i said they have the discovery kit you're getting actually the discovery kit for viva more for their sister brand for free so you're gonna get this new collection chocolate queen venom of love race pivots all of the new releases and the new sister brand. So yeah, these were all of the fragrances uh, from Navitus. Now, let's move on. Um, let's move on to a fragrance I already talked about. And I'm not gonna like go over again everything because I already made a special video. Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. Um, electric Cherry is still not available, but I do have this baby and I got it the second day, yeah, one day after it was released, and I do really like it. I know it's pricey, I know it's not for everyone because it's way darker, the cherry is darker, you're de definitely getting some like leathery touches. This one basically has dark cherry, saffron, cipriol, and then osmanthus. I said in that video, I feel like it's something else going on in here, I'm definitely getting maybe some floral notes, I'm definitely getting maybe some ambergris or something leathery because osmanthus, yes, can be leathery, but it's not that leathery. I do not think this one smells like cherry punk. I don't think this one smells like the original Lost Cherry. I'm going to put the video in the description box if you want to um, see the full review for Cherry Smoke. But yeah, I got this one and so far, so good. I really, really like it. So Cherry Smoke from Tom Ford. All right, let's move on to another new release we have from Thomas Cosmala. This one is number four candy. Um, I never had the original number four. I've seen people saying that that one is very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge and it's actually better than Baccarat Rouge. 
when I saw the notes for this one, I was like, yes, I really want to uh, buy it. So it was a blind buy. This is the bottle. To be honest with you, I am not the biggest fan of the bottle. It feels expensive. The cap feels expensive. The, uh, the actual bottle, but just the writing, it's a bit too juvenile, especially for the price, you know? Um, so yeah, not, not the biggest fan of this, but I like the scent. Now, the notes for this fragrance are, we have red fruits and cherry um, top notes. Middle we have raspberry blossom and tiara flower, and then vanilla, cotton candy, and caramel. Let me spray it in here. Yes, so, 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 so. As soon as I sprayed this one, I was like, Burberry her, from Burberry, obviously. Just the original, not the elixir version, not the intense version, maybe in between the original and the intense, because the intense was a bit more um, like berry when the original was more just like strawberry. It definitely has that Baccarat Rouge DNA. Um, it definitely reminds me of Burberry Her, the original and the intense one. I've tested this one because I have all of them, okay? I've tested this one against um, Baccarat Rouge, Burberry Her, Burberry Her Intense. What I've noticed, when I put them all like next to each other, Burberry Her, I'm actually getting the jasmine. Before, I wasn't getting any jasmine. I was getting just uh, Baccarat Rouge with some strawberry milkshake. Right now, I'm definitely getting them that jasmine note comparing to this one. The intense version doesn't have that much airiness. This one is basically Baccarat Rouge. Generally, it's like that Baccarat Rouge DNA with all of these fruity notes. I'm definitely getting red fruits, like some strawberry, some like some berries, not necessarily strawberry, but some berries. I'm definitely getting berries. And maybe a little bit of cherry, but I will not necessarily guess that it's cherry. I would just say red fruits in general. You're not getting any floral notes. Does it have? Yes, it has yari flower, has raspberry blossom. I'm not getting any, any floral notes. In Burberry Her, right now, compared to this one, I'm definitely getting a strong, creamy jasmine. With this one, I'm not getting anything like that. Do you need this one? This is the, the review, honestly. It's Baccarat Rouge. Make it not as medicinal, sweeter, and then you're getting all of these fruity notes. And a bit citrusy, something citrusy in, in here. It's not listed, but it def definitely has like a lemony and it's something citrusy, something fresh in here as well. Even though it's a very sweet fragrance, it has something fresh like and a bit tart as well. It's not listed, it definitely needs to have some like candied lemons or something like that it's not listed right now do you need this one it really depends it really depends because if you love this type of dna i do really love this type this type of dna okay i don't mind having this because it's not exactly the same but it's in the same family if that makes any sense it's bismo like it does last it does project it kind of does the same thing as baccarat rouge where you can smell it and then you can't and you can smell it again um but i know for sure that people around me can smell it okay like everyone said oh that smells very very nice i was like thank you um but yeah it's in the same family i don't know maybe get this one over the original because the original everyone said that it's very very like way too similar to baccarat rouge but then they said that it's better actually so I know it's in the same family. It's baccarat rouge with lots of fruits, like red fruits on top, and then, like I said, I'm getting this like lemony something fresh, something citrusy, something citrusy on top, even though it's not listed. Um, overall, I really like it. It's not wow. It's not something that we've never seen before. Uh, but I do, I do really like the fragrance. So we have from Tomas Kasmala, uh, number four candy. Now let's move on to some gourmands. More gourmands. We have from. Theodoro Scalotini's Velvet Chocolate. Um, obviously, I released a chocolate fragrance after uh, I released mine. This one was released as well. But listen, I'm not here to tell you which one is better, which one. I'm not going to say, oh, this is horrible, mine is better. No, they're extremely different and they're both beautiful. Do I love this thing? Yes. This one has just four notes. It has... Vanilla, 
chocolate, cacao, and then tonka bean. This is very sweet, okay? You need to like extremely sweet fragrances. That's why with my chocolate queen, it is sweet, it is sweet. But we mix in there some sandalwood, we mix some other things, so it's not overly sweet because I know not everyone is gonna like to smell literally like just chocolate, just like extremely sweet sugary chocolate. This one is very sweet, like very, very sweet. It's, it kind of hits my limit, but I love it. Absolutely love it. What I'm getting is the same type of vanilla that it's in vanilla from Theodore Scalotini's that like, not necessarily like a very natural vanilla, but more like a frosting vanilla. And then I'm definitely getting cacao powder it's a bit powdery but i can get this chocolate as well it's kind of mixed it's not too chocolatey it's not like milk chocolate but it's not too powdery and for some reason on my skin i'm getting coffee i'm getting the exact type of coffee that it's in coffee addict i know it's unlisted but i'm getting some coffee for some reason this is beautiful okay it's very sweet again very sweet i would say you know what the type of chocolate that's in here now that I'm smelling it again, it reminds me like the mix between cacao and chocolate kind of reminds me of, um, what's, what's it called? Dulce Diablo from Narcotica, but that one is very boozy as well. It's maybe not as sweet and that one has that like dried apricots. But if you take just the cacao and chocolate, the way they mix together, kind of reminds me of this. Yes, it does. It actually reminds me of this. I do really like it nothing to complain i recommended theodoro scalotini's a billion times I absolutely love um his fragrances i have other three this is my fourth one all of them are blind buys i do really like it very very sweet cacao powder with some chocolate and then i'm getting some coffee but like sweet coffee the type of coffee that it's in coffee addict but just like a drop not a lot just a drop but i'm getting some coffee anyway i do really like it like i do really like it if again i will never give hate to another brand that is releasing something like the same family with something that i release absolutely not they're both beautiful they're both very different like very different if you have chocolate queen do you need this one if you like way 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 sweeter fragrances yes if you want if you have this one and then you want something a bit more, a bit, a bit, a bit more like for night time, day night, you know, like sensual, you can definitely go with Chocolate Queen as well because they don't smell the same at all. They have similar notes, but they don't smell the same. Uh, but yeah, overall, amazing. Amazing, amazing fragrance. Absolutely love it. Uh, Theodoro Scalotini's Velvet Chocolate. And because we talked about a house that is actually a Greek house, I have another niche company that's coming from greece and this one is the first fragrance that i have it's immortal and this one is from manos yarakinis absolutely love this one blind buy i'm dropping everything it was a blind buy for me this one and the next one i just had to have it i've seen people talking about this one on youtube i really like the bottle notes intrigue me so i was like yeah, this okay i'm gonna buy it immortal it's an amazing gourmand love at first name honestly i've heard about this one the first time from amy i'm gonna leave her channel in the description i've seen other people but she talked about this one the most i know she said that this fragrance was not a love at first name for her but for me it, it really was now i actually wore it twice already it's not gonna be for everyone okay it's a very very sweet fragrance the notes are, we have opening clove and cinnamon, then we have dried uh, middle immortel and milk, and dried down, you have brown sugar, benzoin, sandalwood, and patchouli. I don't really know how immortel smells like. I know it's a yellow flower, but I don't really know exactly how it smells like. For me, this is very, very concentrated warm milk with lots of brown sugar and some benzoin. Do you, have you ever had, I'm obsessed, myself, I'm obsessed with boba tea. Have you ever heard the brown sugar 
boba tea, but like the very, very, very sweet one. Not that syrup that they put. It smells like that. It smells like that syrup from the brown sugar boba tea. I think it's called something else. I think it's called dragon something as well. I'm not sure. I'm obsessed with boba tea, by the way. And this reminds me of that. It's like that super milky condensed and just like super, super very, very sweet. The only fragrance that maybe this one reminds me of is Trastevere from um, Profumum Roma. No, from Pantheon Roma. Sorry, from Pantheon Roma. But that one has Artemisia. That one has a greenness. It's that different. But like the level of sweetness is the same, I would say. This is what this reminds me. If you know like brown sugar boba tea. It's like very sweet. Just a syrup. Not necessarily the whole mix. Just a syrup that they use. It's amazing. I love it. Again, not for everyone. Get yourself a sample. But it's it's beautiful. It does last on the skin. It's beast mode. It's everything. I love it. And the next one that I got from the same brand. And this is actually the first fragrance that got me interested in this brand. It's Methexis. Uh, Methexis is a very, I don't know, intriguing fragrance because the notes, I would never ever think that those notes together would actually work. We have notes, fig, black currant, dried fruits, middle, we have honey, cacao, cedar, and cinnamon. And right down, we have vanilla, musk, amber, vetiver, and benzoin. I like fig fragrances, but I don't like one that green. I like, obviously, cacao, chocolate fragrances. Honey sometimes can be too much. This is not for everyone. This is for summer evenings, and you need to be into niche fragrances to actually enjoy this perfume. It opens up with a very green, milky fig. And that green, milky fig, it's covered in this cacao honey syrup. You leave it to dry down. The fig is not as green anymore. But it's still, like, it still has a greenness, but it's not as green anymore. Cacao starts to fade. And then the honey is getting sweeter, thicker, richer. It's like true, pure honey. I'm not getting the dried fruits. I'm not getting like cinnamon or blackcurrant. Nothing like that. This is how it smells for me. For some reason, it smells like... I know I said the same thing about Olympia. Because I was one the salted one. This is completely different. But it generally smells like grease. Somehow. I've been to Greece probably like seven, eight times already, so I definitely know how Greece smells like. It's just something so nostalgic about this fragrance and so intriguing, but it's so unique. It's not going to be for everyone. I'm telling you, do not blind by this one because it's not for everyone. You really need to appreciate Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of fig. I'm not the biggest fan of honey. I like it, but it depends how it's mixing. You have two completely different notes. You have that green. It's green. Like, don't think it's a bit green. No, in the opening, it's green, green, fake, but it's milky at the same time. Then it's covering this, like, honeyed cacao, but then the dry down, the dry down is the best part. Like, that honey is getting so strong and so thick and so rich. But still, like, even though it's very, very sweet, that fig, that greenness from the fig makes this fragrance work it's not gonna be for everyone do not blind by this one test it first but you might absolutely love it when i first tested this i was like i'm not really sure second time i was like hmm, maybe and then the third time i was like oh my god this is gonna be amazing in the summer evenings summer evenings this is gonna be absolutely amazing it just has something different no but nobody listen nobody is gonna smell like you um yeah absolutely love it so the last fragrance i'll have in here is methexis um from what's the name of the company manos uh Yera is it yerakinis yerakinis manos yerakinis um yeah methexis absolutely love it but you need to try it first and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these fragrances if you like them if you don't all of that um yeah let me know in the comments down below that was it for today thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye